<laughs> All right, this is Aaron, and he is going to tell us a little bit about his Paleo Challenge experience. Aaron, what was the most difficult part of the challenge for you? Uh, definitely like the first like two weeks, kind of getting down things that I really liked in the past, eating on a regular basis and kind of, you know, peanuts and those kind of things, the, the snacky foods um, that you couldn't like fall back on and eat between meals and on the go and um, realizing that you had to carry snacks with you that were paleo throughout the entire challenge and walking around with like, pockets of carrots and almonds and those kind of things. Well, that actually goes into our next question. Um, Tell us a little bit about how you worked through that challenge. Um, just being prepared. I, I got good at like uh, setting up meals a couple days in advance. Um, grocery shopping was a big one, learning what you can and can't buy and, and what would keep and what wouldn't keep and um, snacks to have on the go and, and things that you could kind of, I guess, treat yourself to that were still paleo kind of once a week or so too so you knew. Um, you had something to look forward to actually throughout it. Awesome. Okay, what surprised you about the challenge? Um, how good I feel, to be honest with you. Um, how good I feel while, while I'm actually eating paleo and then during our one cheat day how bad I felt uh, was kind of the thing too. And um, honestly, I've kept up with it and really, really feel good all the way throughout. Um, I haven't really you know, experienced a diet where I just kind of feel good all the time. I haven't had any kind of stomach issues or I haven't felt poor internally, so to speak. Um, since this all began, so I really enjoyed that aspect. Awesome. That kind of leads us into um, think of all of your results, whether that be you know BMI or inches or weight loss or gains in your time or whatever that is. Uh, what are your top two favorites and why? Um, well, kind of like my overall like body shape, I guess, would be the first one. Uh, clothes fit better. Uh, it's kind of coming off some interview season where I was eating really poorly, so it's nice to come home and have some clothes uh, fit better and even buy some new ones for uh, the springtime coming on. Um, and then I guess, you know, I hurt my back kind of starting out into this too, and so I really took some time to focus on form um, and kind of learning what CrossFit is during this whole, whole experience too. And um, I wasn't able to do one of the uh, test out results at uh, the beginning. And uh, kind of doing that throughout the end and not having any pain or any issues and um, feeling really good muscle wise throughout this whole thing has been a really uh, good thing for me. Awesome. Describe how you used to feel energy wise and how you feel now. Uh, well, honestly, we had really long days at school, and I was probably taking in uh, anywhere from five to six five-hour energies a day, two or three cups of coffee. Um, I used to crush caffeine, a um, thousand milligrams, if not more, every day. Um, and since it started, um, you know, we were only allowed to have like black coffee and those kind of things. I've really cut back on that, and my energy has, has stayed you know, strong throughout. There are times where I get tired, um, and I get a little mad or a little angry if I don't, you know, eat my almonds or I don't get some meals in. Um, but other than that, it's been great keeping up with uh, you know, decreases in caffeine content, content and still having my, uh, my energy stay high. It's been great. Awesome. Um, have you changed the way you look at food? Uh, very much so. Um, you know, kind of changing your thought about, you know, low fat, you know, carbs really didn't matter to eating more like nutritious whole foods, um, meats and fats and those kind of things, and just kind of having the complete diet. Um, it's definitely a new way of thinking. I, you know, kind of considering sugar, um, not a good thing and you know just kind of taking your old ideas about what you thought nutrition and, and what it meant to be in shape and be skinny kind of a thing to be more um, eating foods that are good for you vitamin wise whole wise making sure you're getting a little bit of everything every day um, and just kind of shows on how you feel every day as well and of that behavior list think back to that you know that check off list from the form you know the the water the vitamins with the workout all of that stuff are there any of those behaviors that you plan on making a lifestyle uh, well, I've kept up with the vitamins and everything as well, too. The, the hours in sleep is tough, to be honest with you. Um, I guess in real life, I guess you can strive for a certain amount of hours of sleep in bed by 10 every night, but that's hard depending upon what you're doing. Um, but for me, it's just kind of keeping track of what I'm eating. Um, you know, being able to write things down, you kind of look back and you're like, holy crap, I ate all this food, and it, it, it causes you to take a little bit more inventory of what you're putting in your body. So uh, maybe not writing down every day what I'm eating, but just kind of thinking about how many servings of things I've had and how many snacks I've had and how big my portion size are. Um, definitely going to take that throughout. Um, hopefully, hopefully in the future now until the end. You know. Awesome. That's it. Awesome. Thank you.